Remember, the basic idea for solving equations, simplify, solve and check? In this video, you will learn to deal with the complexity of square roots. Consider the equation 3 equals the square root of x squared plus 3 minus x. Step 1 is to simplify, so we want to get rid of the ugliest term in this expression, the square root. How do you remove a square root? Well, by squaring obviously. Taking the square directly in this equation will not work. The square of the right hand side contains the square of the square root, the square of minus x, but also the product of the square root and minus x. We still have a square root and did not succeed in simplifying the equation. The best option is to isolate the square root on one side of the equation and then square. This gives x plus 3 equals the square root of x squared plus 3, which, after squaring, becomes x plus 3 squared equals x squared plus 3. This is a polynomial equation, so now we know how to proceed. Expanding the brackets and simplifying gives us 6x plus 6 equals 0, the solution is x equals minus 1. We solve the equation and the final step is to check this solution in the original equation. Remember that minus minus is plus, so this gives 3 equals the square root of 1 plus 3 plus 1, which is correct. The question arises what problems might occur when you square both sides of an equation. To show what can go wrong, let us consider the equation minus 1 equals the square root of x squared plus 3 minus x. Isolating the square, this becomes x minus 1 equals the square root of x squared plus 3. Squaring both sides gives x minus 1 squared equals x squared plus 3, and the square root is gone. Expanding brackets and bringing everything to one side shows x equals minus 1 again. But plugging in x equals minus 1 in the equation, we obtain minus 1 equals 3, which is not correct. Apparently, this equation has no solutions. How can it be that we found a false solution? We have introduced a solution to our equation at some point in our calculation. If we plug x equals minus 1 into all our steps, we can see where the problem occurred. We see that it occurred when we squared both sides of the equation. Before squaring, the equation said minus 2 equals 2, and after squaring, 4 equals 4. More generally, if the two numbers x minus 1 and square root of x squared plus 3 are equal, then their squares are also equal. Thus, any solution to the equation x minus 1 equals square root of x squared plus 3 is also a solution to the squared equation x minus 1 squared equals x squared plus 3. However, the other way around is not true. If the squares are equal, then the original numbers need not be. And this is exactly what happens in our equation. By squaring an equation, you can introduce extra solutions. Fortunately, you can easily check if this happens by plugging your solutions into the original equation. Remember to always simplify, solve and check. Try to solve the examples in the exercises yourself. 